That is very nice. You know, whenever you start in a, whenever you plant, you are plant there, like in the chamber. Right? You know the little number of, or you know how you push them. Like that. You know, in a period of time, whenever you come with, uh, with one meeting, you will find that one is missing here. What is the little number? Fine. Whenever I know the number, I know the approach, I know the number. So, like, if, if you find like there are more cows that have, have come together, right? Could you be, be able to identify your cow? Yeah. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Yeah. Wow, that's so nice and so interesting. So, like, um, about these animals, you say that you stay alone with these animals. Like, you say there's a lot somewhere because most of us in the city we stay in the rental houses. Like, how do you keep your animals? For now, you know the life of Nairobi. Eh? Mm -hmm. You know the life of Nairobi is not a uh, life in that bucket hole. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't have a public land or a private land, but I used to have a, a size of, uh, or else, how do I put it? A yeah, piece of land that I used to rent. Mm -hmm. I have to pay a certain amount of money mm -hmm. right, to look after myself. How do you pay the amount of money? The owner of the land. Oh. Here is Nairobi. So guys, have you, as you've heard, he has rented a piece of land and that's where he keeps his animals. And uh, I think, yeah, he keeps his animals there. That's where they sleep as they graze around the city. So guys, uh, something interesting about these animals that is that these animals can actually cross the road by themselves. They can feed and take themselves home. Am I wrong by saying yeah, that? Yeah, because yeah, I've yeah. seen uh, some doing that without uh, like a... Uh, uh, Owner, right? Maybe one of your animals is sick or sick and well. Yeah, you know the the situation of an animal. Mm -hmm. You see, it's not happy. The animal is not happy. Mm -hmm. You see the the, the the face only. The face only represented is the the, the health of that. Face. Face. How yeah. do you know the animal? Is, uh, like the face of the animal is now feeling well. Whenever you whenever you identify the animal is sick or the animal is not good in a good health or a, in a good situation. Mm -hmm. You find the animal is, uh, you find that somehow it's sleepy, mm -hmm. you see, somehow the, the airs from there, the face, yeah, you stand, I don't know whether you're getting there. Yeah, those, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah the, the animal, in general, the animal is not happy at all. The animal is not happy. 
So do you uh, de uh, depend on vets or you still use the traditional ways of herbs and the animals? Oh, we do. We do the, depend on the vets, vets okay. but we can do this thing for money. Like, can you identify like a sickness or, you know, on an animal yeah. then you look for a heart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are wow. no signs. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So that's so interesting. And I heard that and actually I'm... these animals, all these animals have names. So that is actually the most interesting part. Uh, these animals, all of them have names, right? Yeah. Wow. So how do they, how did you do that? Because uh, these animals are so many. And uh, by the time an animal gets to uh, know that this is my name now, how did you do that? You know these uh, pets, we are going to gonna live with them, they are so friendly. Whenever you find a cow there, you, go, you are going next to the cow, when the cow is small or else it's big, whenever you are there next to it, mm -hmm. just talking about, you are just talking on it, and she understands, she understands its name, eh? you yeah. understand? Yeah. So, what the name you're doing. so you can actually call a name yeah. of an animal. Even you can call a, a hat. You know a hat? Well, yeah. now, yeah. Well, now, whenever you touch that nani or else you call well, up a hold out, hold out, it becomes an animal. So, can we try? Yeah. So, guys, let's problem. get into this and see how these animals react to their names. Don't you think that is so interesting? So, let's see. At this point, we want to do uh, an experiment of uh, calling a cow, uh, one or two cows by their names, and see whether they respond. Don't you think that is so interesting, guys? So let's do this. Let's do this and see. How it yes. Now he hears because he might he might think that we are catching. Oh. Somehow we used to. How do we call it? You hit them or you? No. Uh. How do you call it? Cotta. Yeah, no. Injection. Sorry. Oh, injection. Oh, injection. A medicine for injection, maybe. Uh -huh. yeah. so, Any other? You can try another. Yeah. Where did your boys go? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any other? For friendly. Okay, let's try another one. Uh, so meanwhile, you can see there is a white bird there. Right there, there is a white bird, which actually never... Yes, exactly. Thank you, bird. So that bird actually never departs from animals. Everywhere, wherever the animals are, you, you are likely to find that bird. Yes, why? It's because they, it benefits from eating the ticks from the animals, those insects that are fly around the animals. And those two animals, the bird and the animals, the cows are so friendly. They are like this. So everywhere you, you go, you find cows, that bird is there. So that's something so let's go. We are on the mission called Animal Slave. saying that uh, he'll happen to lose some of uh, his animals so yeah i think uh, uh, that's all for today or oh, if there's something you want to tell my subscribers about your animals and living in nairobi and the challenges maybe you face okay that is nice for the subscribers try to follow like share subscribe and may god bless you thank you yeah and i just thank you that you just watched my video to this point if you've not subscribed actually consider subscribing give me those thumbs up share to your friends and uh, keep coming keep supporting me uh, yeah